Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or if you're new welcome this is Hi Will I am Will and today's video I will be reacting and reviewing to season 3 episode 6 of Legacies. Today's episode is called To Whom It May Concern and what's gonna happen is that after a sudden mass exodus of the school students bodies I don't know what exodus means but yeah let me just translate that so I can understand it a mass. Okay. After a student mass exodus of the school students, by Alaric and the squad desperately try to recruit new students to keep the school afloat. Hope agrees to help Lizzie with the new student orientation. Josie enjoys a fresh start on her first day at Mystic Falls High, while MG begins his his semester of no. Caleb, Ethan, and Jed also appear. So first thing I noticed here is that. MG is going to do the opposite that Lizzie did on season two, which you, which she was always saying yes. That's why they even like got a, a date. Well, I don't think they end up having that date because he had to conceal or something or whatever. And then she met Sebastian. I don't remember, but I think that's a cool that's a cool thing. That's a little parallel about this. I think it's cool. So about all of this that's going to happen, I think I'm most excited to see Josie on the school having like a normal life, cause. That's something that I miss on Legacies, like the fact that they're still teens and they're they have normal parts of their life. They're just not like supernatural and they're not the super squad and yeah. I just miss like a normal piece of life. Even uh, haven't you guys always wanted to see like an episode of any show, supernatural or not even supernatural, where all the characters just go like to the beach and enjoy a day without no problem? I would like that. Honestly, I feel like the episode would be over and I would just feel relaxed and I'd be like, oh, I want to do this now. Yeah, whatever. Um, what's more gonna happen? Problems at the school, blah, blah, blah. Hope agrees to help Lizzie. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good for Hope because she needs to stop thinking about Lennon and th she thinks he's dead and he probably is, but he will come back because we all knew, well, we all know that that's gonna happen. So yeah. Um, I want to see Ethan. I know he's going to be on this episode, so yeah, I want to see him. I think that's just because he's human. He's like the most interesting person like on the show right now for me. It's, yeah, and I and I like Supernaturals. Don't don't get me wrong. I just feel like it's different to have a human, and I I hope he doesn't stay human all the time because that would be boring. But if he's a vampire, werewolf, whatever, I would like it. So yeah, that's what I want to see and my thoughts on this little synopsis. The video is a little bit different um, because now I have my uh, new mic, so uh, I needed to put it on some way it wouldn't be like this. Because if you've seen my Riverdale video, is like on my face, in front of my face. Because that depends how high I have my camera. So I'm gonna try to have it like here, and it's gonna be a little bit different. If I don't like the final result, I'll just go back to how it was to be. But yeah, that's it. Um, be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like legacies and if you like my reaction. Comment what were your thoughts on this episode. I love reading guys your fuck. I love reading your comments and <laughs> yeah, I just like different perspectives. Even if it's like if, if you agree with me, that's cool at the same time. If you don't, it's cool. Again, I'm not toxic. I'm not gonna be like, oh you suck because you ship this or that or whatever. Like I don't mind. When I watched The Vampire Diaries, it was on season seven, yeah. It was every season seven, so I watched all of it and I I wasn't part of the fandom, like I wasn't seeing things on the show because I didn't want to get spoiled, even though I just watched The Vampire Lives because I got, I got spoiled and that got me interesting, but yeah, I, I shipped everyone with everyone at a certain point and that was okay for me and it's still okay if you ship everybody, if you don't ship anyone, yeah, I'm not gonna be judging you if you say like you, unless you say something like Larry can hope and I'll be like, get some help, but on the age limits, you can ship whatever you want. The the world is endless. You can be whatever, everything you want. I saw that on Barbie. So, yeah. That's it. Um, subscribe for more Legacies content and maybe other shows that you guys like. And yeah, that's it. Um, without wasting any more of your time. This, I'm always getting confused at this part. Without wasting any more of your time, let's watch Legacies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Hey, Landon. You were you were not dead enough time for I, for I start to missing you. So, yeah, just to say that. Creepy, weird. It's not creepy, just weird. Too much colors. Again. Okay, now he's creepy. Oh no, I know this voice. Oh. Why is he here? Like, what have we done with this guy? He's so annoying. Like season one, yeah, great villain, but season two... <sighs> Embrace the show. There's a cell phone and some cash in the front pocket. <laughs> Doesn't she have a cell phone? Never had a chance to do or the phone. whole send my daughter off to her first day of school thing before. Yes, you did. On season eight of the Vampire Diaries, when they start getting close with Celine. Oh, when they decide to do the school is because they're on their school and they make something fly or something like that. Didn't that happen? Am I getting confused? Because I remember that it was something about a school and they changed them of school like one or two times or Caroline um, compelled them to forget. I don't, I don't know, but they were in school. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay. Don't make me remind of that <laughs> Sleepy Beauty kiss. <laughs> I need to be more positive, I know, I'm sorry. I'll try. She's so beautiful. Here you have positivity on me. She's really beautiful. Are you seriously comparing Landon dying to you not realizing that MG was a good guy until it was too late? Okay, well, it's it's not a competition, Hope. It's it's different. Maybe Wade yeah. did the tour. Wade. Okay, well, you're grieving, so I won't. <laughs> What's the problem with Wade? Besides him being a fairy, which I think is so bad because I don't want fairies on the show, but I like Wade. But, but what's the problem with him? Stop. Same with Wade, what's the problem? Wait, no, I said wait. Uh, same with Jad, what's the problem with Jad? Why every time I talk about Jad, she's like, oh, Jad. What's the problem with Jad and Wade? Like, poor guys. What I want to happen with Wade is that that whole fairy was just like, uh, somebody, like, we will find out that a witch made them all hallucinate with his wings and he's just a normal witch that couldn't do magic but now he can because he deserves to do magic, so yeah. So many students. It's like if COVID was in town. Oh, I can say well, COVID. I, for, I, I totally forbidden that word. Well, if you hate it, why not just break out? Brilliant! Why didn't I think of that? Enchanted shackles. I can't get him off. I've How did Malivor put those chains there? Magical chains. Did he absorb them? We both escaped to the real world and then... Something happened and I got sent here. With clothes. <laughs> Which is the weirdest thing. Are you sure she wants you back? I don't. I mean, I like Landon, but I don't want him back with Hope. Because Hope is too dependent on him. Depending. You help me out of these shackles, and I'll find us a way home. What do you say? Old no. Fashioned team up. Don't do it. Stay there, and kill him there, or whatever, or kill him and go. As I was saying, the great room is where all the fun stuff happens. Including the lean. Uh, well, it did happen. Oh, they're watching us, so let's just pretend that everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, the pickup spot must have been some kind of miscommunication. <laughs> I like how they're all like this. <laughs> <laughs> what about the faculty? Well, we I'm loving questions. this moment. I'm yeah, sorry. Because if we don't have enough students, we have to close the school. That would be bad, but I would like it. it. Would be interesting, a change. I love changing, and Legacies needs it. So yeah, close the school, please. I know. Oh, Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> Are you teaching here now? Worse. 
I'm the new principal. Now, Didn't Ethan say he was a dick? It wasn't my idea. It was Finch. 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 Hi. Oh, hey, welcome back. All right, you guys, you're gonna love. Like, Kayleen has so much chemistry with everyone. Like, every person that Josie looks at, it's like chemistry same with um, Danielle they both have so much chemistry with everyone and it's hard not to ship them with everyone that's why hope needs to be with everyone that's the thing like she needs to explore like the world and don't even stop being like Landon 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 <laughs> so yeah explore the world explore with each other if you guys want and yep our werewolf pack is as legendary as they are dangerous. Hope <laughs> is like, I'm a werewolf too, but I don't care. Have you fallen in love? <sighs> Darn it. And then murdered them? Of course. <laughs> now you see my dilemma. He <laughs> talks so much like a, a, like a little slut. Like, did you fall in love? John Hunt, did you kill him? Of course. <laughs> well, I hate him, but I uh, kind of like when they do these little jokes. But he's still creepy. Creepy on a sense of, get out of here. Nobody's scared of you anymore. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands! Ta-da! And that's how you escape from hell, singing a song. It was kind of obvious that he was going to betray him. That's why I sent him for him to go and leave him. I can't escape this place. <laughs> Every time he laughs, I lose a brain cell. Just wanted to say that. Just a letter from my sister telling me not to worry about her. <laughs> you worry about her a lot? Apparently I don't, because I haven't thought about her once today. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, that was a little bit selfish of Lizzie. I don't know if she intended to make her feel... Uh, I don't think she did, but... She was happy. That's not my job to make you feel better about being a jerk. So no, apology not accepted. I... Now I get why you don't like Chad. I just remember that, that whole situation with Alyssa. Birthday parties, decade dances... Well, I thought we were going to see like the Miss Mystic Falls. I wish in this season we have another one. I like Miss Miss Mystic Falls. It's discovered their powers for the first time. But I like seeing these flashbacks. Everyone's gonna be fine. It's not your fault. Yeah, just give her a minute. In the meantime, we. I think Hope needs to go to the forest florist whatever and scream like she did on the miss mystic falls episode with lizzie i think she would need that it would be a good time for doing stuff like that so just go or transform into a wolf because i'm always here for a hope werewolf moment so yeah land and go if i have to choose one of you it's gonna be you well i like always i like landon Bye. Just put that like here and try to kill him. I know he'll come back, but... Well, he lost some time while he was laughing, so good job, Landon. But for what it is worth, your playing is not unpleasant. Tell her the truth, just go. She's cool. I like her. I'm glad V gets his time alone, Headmaster. Sounds me. He's a freaking vampire. He could have easily killed him. I know he's he's a hunter, but like that, it would have just done that fast and it would be harder. Would you want to my old school warn me this place was run down? I think you know her, Penelope. She has a lot of opinions. Penelope. Everyone is entitled to an opinion. By the way, 
I don't think that was about me. Yeah, it wasn't. Are you alright? She is, Cleo, because she, she's, she's going to do art, I too. I being in a studio. Do you paint? I'm glad she's staying. I don't want to talk about I like her. What do you see? I kind of see blood, but I don't know what she sees. Let me tell you a story about a vampire that I wanted to kill once, who eventually became my best friend. It doesn't matter. And now you where is he? You're not I would like to know where he is, because... Like you said, turned out to become your best friend, but he's never at the school, and you're never with him. So, since I don't, I don't believe that Ian Summerholder is going to come to Legacies unless there's something like super big opportunity and probably a bunch of. Um, you could say sometime if you don't want to put a Laric on the episode or in a certain scene, you can say like. He's hanging out with Damon, or say some. If he sometimes is like drunk because Alaric was always drunk on the Vampire Diaries, or so he's drinking. You can say like he was drinking with Damon, or they have a bro night or whatever. Like just you can mention him. Like I don't think anybody's gonna feel bad because you're referring the Vampire Diaries on a good way. I don't think people like when you say like the Necromancer met. Klaus Michelson or whatever, because there's no way that these creatures would like work on the Michelson slash uh, the Vampire Diaries world. So yeah, but if you mention them on the right turn term, I think people would appreciate it. Or like Alini taking vacation with Caroline, something something like that. People would like it, honestly. I mean, at least I would. If you don't, well, if you don't, um, I'm sorry, but why aren't you in there with the football team? Ah, uh, that doesn't feel right. Till I've earned my spot back. So how are you going to get your spot back if you're not there? Even though I'm trying to help them, I'm just making it worse. I'm a little scared because like what's inside of me. At the same place she looks nice, she's kinda giving me some little villain vibes. I don't know if I'm the only one getting that, but I am sorry. At some point she looks like she's analyzing her Me too. Too deep. It's a place where it's safe to be yourself. Like Monster High. <laughs> First person, yeah, honest. Do something, Landon. Don't stay just there. Yeah, that's what I told him to do. He heard me at all. Go, go, go. It's time for you to be. I want to say like evil, but. Edgy. Get a little bit edgier. Go! Come on. Are they not gonna show us if he jumps or not? Thank god the Necromaster is not a vampire, because that time they took just to jump, it would be a time for someone to do this. <laughs> I would love it, though. <laughs> it would be cool. She has a lot of, like... Thank you, Cleo. Cleo, she's Cleo. Any parents that I should talk to? No, it is just me. See, that's why I'm getting scared. It's only her. Just her. See, I like this. They look normal. My family was pretty screwed up. It's cute. Just take it one step at a time. Yeah. I agree with Finch. I don't want her to be evil, though. She looks friends with Hope, and now Lizzie will get jealous, and now I'm sad. Are they gonna be roommates? Because Hope was with Alyssa Chain. Now. This, this is gonna be kinda hard. No. Don't say no. 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 Not that I, I don't. No. No. Look at her. She's needing it. You Don't you want to help her? Like, yeah, I, I agree that you should do the no thing for the things that you don't want to do, but she's cl she clearly needs help and you're being kind of selfish. Maybe it's just because I'm on Lizzie's side here, you know? I, I love Lizzie, but... Yeah, I. It it sucked already on the old school situation because the school would close, and maybe if he'd help, if he was there, he could have helped. And he was like, "No, I don't want to." So 
uh, that was a pretty serious thing, even maybe even more serious than this, in terms of her old friends would got split up to different places because he said you know he didn't want to help just because he didn't feel like it. For one side, it's good, but for the other side, we need to think about this too. And now, like with Lizzie, like even though there was many drama and whatever, then she heard him like many times. Like, guys are still friends. You guys are more friends now than you were ever before, so... And she's lonely, so yeah. That's what I'm feeling. And then when you run out of people, you show up looking for a shoulder to lean on. That's true, too. But our happiness... It's our own job. That's true. By the way, is this song, like, from another episode? And if I had come in and hung out, we might have made some sort of stupid mistake, like have sex or something. So, this is good. I mean, we're making the mature choice. Thanks, Em. And now he's gonna be like, because you said sex, I should have asked you to stay. Or he's just gonna be like, Where you? does she like me now? Which I hope he is thinking about that. Without magic or powers or an ingenious plan. I like those little sparkles that are around him, but one I could count on why are they here? I will get myself home. No matter what it takes. Now I'm trying to think if there's like a place where he could go. But no, the Mollivore pits are all done. So... Shit. So the episode is over, so let's just talk a little about it. I'm gonna be honest. This episode was really good. I actually liked it a lot. I wasn't expecting to be that this good. The only thing that kind of annoyed me was just the vampire not being fast enough to and just doing like, like, eat. That's the only thing that annoyed me. Uh, besides that, I feel like the episode was well written. It made sense. And yeah, well, I I guess I can say I don't like that the necromancer was that, but whatever. I'm just gonna take it. Um, best things. I like the Josie and Finch interaction, same with Ethan. I feel like they can be good friends, because Finch and Ethan have a, a problem here too, because of Maya, but yeah, whatever. Um, not That does, that was not important for this episode, but I like Josie being normal, that's what I said on the, on the beginning of, before watching the episode, that I like her, like, going to school and... Just being normal, because that's something that they don't have on Legacies too much. I like what I liked most. It was like Leo and Hope. Like she she could help her, like kind of how Lizzie helped her on the Mystic Falls episode. I'm referencing this episode like a lot on this on this one. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm just rem I just I, I I honestly love that episode. I think I should go watch it now. <laughs> no, no, because I have to edit this video. But yeah, whatever. Later. <laughs> Um, more stuff. Yeah, even though I got a little annoyed with the MG situation because, again, at some point that's good. He's saying no, and everybody should should uh, be able to say no. Like the school situation. First, I was like, okay, but then I, when I start thinking about it, no, the school could be closed because of you, and that's not okay. And yeah, I, I, I honestly, uh, after I talked, uh, he keeps talking, and he said it on a way that it's true, like they have this same dynamic where she ignored him even though she didn't ignore him but yeah she was with, she was going to hope's room and then she was on him on his room um i hope that's all that situation where she she was like uh yeah you're right if i was there we we're gonna do something stupid like having sex and whatever and it was like i hope that was honestly like so now that she likes me or or what i hope that's it and it was not like I could have had sex. So, yeah, I hope it's MG. So I think it was like the the one that now she likes me. That's yeah. I hope that's it. Um, if not, I'm gonna be mad with MG. Uh, more. <laughs> I like Caleb thing with uh, Cleo. So I thought it was funny. I think it would be nice if Caleb had like a real love interest, not how he had like with Elisa the little thing because it wasn't actually explored. It's just like start liking her because she spoke to him and she was like she basically said you were hot and he was like oh now i like you and we had all that uh, jad uh, and i totally forgot the name of the person i was talking about 
Jared, what is the name? Oh god. Jet MG and Oh my god. <gasps> How could I forget? I was talking about him. Shoot. What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm feeling really bad. Let me say, I'm, I think I'm in Chris, but it's not Chris. What the fuck? Caleb. Chris is maybe the actor. Let me see if Chris is the actor, at least. Now I'm feeling bad. Yeah, Chris is the actor. Okay. I was, I was alright on that. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we had all the, that, uh, Jed, Caleb, and MG, like, little drama, but I think it would be nice to have Caleb having a real romance. Because he's now, he was already in season 2, but he is one of the main characters now too, so give him some attention because Legacy is always putting the attention on Hope, Josie, and Lizzie, and we need more of boy screen time, you know what I mean, and having like real storylines. I really liked uh, MG's storyline in season 1, that was like the, a ripper and his mom was, what was he called? Um, the Triad? The Triad, yeah. Her mom was the head master, the chief, the boss of the triad. I, I really like that, and I really hope that that was more explored. And I hope that explore that in the future, because none of them are dead, so yeah. But I feel like me as a boy, I miss like some male representation on like being important to the sword and not just being there as a comic relief or the guy that needs to be saved, because that's basically putting guys on the same shoes that girls were in in a lot of years by Disney movies and all of that like I need to be saved and there comes a hero and whatever girls didn't like that boys don't like that too so yeah just give some boy like an arc besides Lennon too obviously um more that I want to talk about I don't think there's much to it honestly I love that old situation, like, let's all smile, so it looks like everything's alright, and they're like, we're fucked up, right? Yeah, we are, so what are you going to do? Yeah, I like that interaction a lot, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rank this episode, because I want to talk about something else. I'm gonna rank this episode as a hot eight and a half. You know, the lazy situation just... Let me feel relaxed. I don't get it, like I don't, I still don't get all the that lazy thing. Why did she wrote that or whatever? She was being nice. I think she was being nice, but yeah, she should have ever written that. Just say something like, "I hope you have a good day," and that's it. Um, and yeah, what I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, I was saying that Josie storyline got me relaxed. That's what I was saying. Like having the characters having a normal day, it would be so good. I'm now I'm just relaxed and I'm just like. Oof, it's nice. Life it's normal, but yeah. Um what I wanna talk besides this episode. I saw the promo of the next episode. And my question is What the fuck? Why are monsters back and why is that monster here? Like can you I talked about this before, but can you imagine like that guy that appears on the promo? Like on the same table as Damon Cloud or whatever like no and yeah the Julie Plex says this is like a whole new thing but that's not right if she wants to do a whole new thing she shouldn't put like the Michelson name the Sa the Salvatore name the Saltzman's name you know that that thing and she was if she wanted to do something new from the ground she would just do it with another characters another town another story and not a story, no, can be the same story, but just giving different different names and different plays because I I I do love legacies. Season one is like so good, besides the monsters, and some of them are actually like not that bad. But these creepy little guys, when they are really weird, like the one of Santa Claus and whatever, like that just destroys the TVD universe on a time that that would never happen on the universe that herself created. See what I mean? Like, because that that was that's negotiably that's really smart because you're just taking a, a good franchise and you're just 
like the people that like the Vampire Diaries in the original are going to watch Legacies because it's a continuation and that works for business, but if you're going to do that, do a story that is actually like comparable to the previous stories, you know? That that would work together. But yeah, the monsters are back. I don't know how what's an explanation. I know they'll give some like random one, but yeah. Um, what I hope with this, and what I want to see in the future. I know that Danielle said that this season would actually change a lot of stuff, like it would be like a total shift, so I'm gonna say that that is probably gonna happen in the middle of the season, because I don't think the, the season 2 finale that was on this season, it was not like, I think Julie Black just rewrote it, the writers rewrote it, but she directed, so yeah, you know what I mean. Like, um, they just re rewrite it so we could not, so we wouldn't be like a season finale, we would have like little vibes of that, but it's not the actual one, some parts of it are, but they rewrote it for, it doesn't be like so dramatic and whatever. And I think they're gonna do something more big in the middle of the season, I'm gonna predict that, um, I'm gonna predict, it's kind of a wish, but is that Hope will uh, activate her vampire side and I would love that because that would just change the show so I think that's gonna happen on the middle of the season this this season has 20 episodes so I think episode 10 there's where shit is gonna like change and maybe we're gonna say goodbye to the monsters forever which I hope it happens but at some time it's hard because now you have like Wei that is a fairy and you have like Landon that was a phoenix and is like around the basis of how the monsters work and whatever and I don't want to get rid of Landon you know I sometimes I, I look like I don't like him but I do like him as a character and I see that he needs to be that is fundamental to the story I just don't like him like with hope you know because hope is still like she does she only cares about Landon in some points of the story I feel like the only moment that I was like oh she doesn't she's She's not choosing him was the episode of season 2 where she actually chose the twins was the one with Kai. Yeah, the second one with Kai. So, I, f I want him to, to be on the story, but I just don't want him to be together as a, a, a couple. Because Hope is like too self-centered around him. So I would like them to be uh, in terms of like best friends, good friends, how Stalino, Stalino was on the Vampire Diaries after... The Lena happened. Oh, and maybe in the future, if they end up together, and if it makes sense, and Hope is now, uh, it will. If Hope gets able to be like, I love you, but I can put stuff first, and I'm not gonna be on it. I'm not gonna put myself in a coma because you are not here. That's that's what I would like to see, honestly. So, yeah. This is what I have to say about this episode and the promo from the next one. Um, if you guys can see the promo, go check it out, because that monster is something. <laughs> I'm laughing not to cry, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, this is it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment what was your favorite thing on the episode. I'm going to sneeze in some times, but I'm going to try to say everything. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't already, because I'm going to do the rest of Legacies series I'm gonna do everything on legacies unless I I die or <laughs> I have a job that doesn't actually do me let me do it but by now it's fine it's okay at least I'll do it for I'm gonna guarantee you that I'll do at least season four you know because that's already confirmed so yeah I'll do at least season four if I don't think there's nothing that's gonna change in my life until then so yeah um yeah this was it I hope you guys have liked it. This is High Will, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. <sighs> oh, yeah, um, be sure to watch my other videos if you like or if you want, and uh, yeah. Have fun, guys. Be safe, and if you see any monster on the street, don't worry. It's not there. It's just legacies. Ooh, that would actually be so cool to meet somebody from the cast. <laughs>